In this society, most people live in cubicles powered with AI. Every day, they have to run endless cycles of peddling on stationary bikes to earn virtual money, which can be used to buy things. Even the food is lab-grown, and a natural environment does not exist. Inside the cubicle, they are forced to watch advertisements or pay to skip them. Our protagonist, Bing, also lives in a cubicle covered from floor to ceiling in screens, and he watches another one as he rides the bike. One day, he hears a girl, Abby, singing in the bathroom and convinces her to enter the talent show named Hot Shot, paying almost his entire savings for her ticket. Slowly, they become partners. During the competition, she sings a song nicely, but the wealthy judges say they cannot hire another singer. They force her to join pornographic content. Although Bing tries to interfere, he is thrown out by the security officials. As Bing returns to his cell, a pornography ad suddenly pops up containing Bobby. It turns out she did accept their offer. He is unable to skip the ad as all his virtual coins were spent on the ticket for Hot Shot. This makes Bing feel worse as he was the one who introduced her to Hot Shot. Fed up with the ongoing system, he thinks that he should speak the truth against the system. As he has spent all of his virtual coins, he starts peddling again and again to earn money for the Hot Shot ticket. Finally, he admits to the show and presents himself as a competitor. Suddenly, he takes a piece of glass and threatens security personnel that he will commit suicide if they come closer. Then he starts his emotional speech against the system. Everyone applauds him. Judges again offer him to take part in their streaming. Next scene, we see Bing living in his own apartment within a natural habitat, Bing starts streaming as the judge offered. Finally, it looks like instead of breaking the supremacy of the system, Bing became a part of that system. Thank you.